Hey, doing some dragon decks or at least some warlock today. I don't, I don't think warlock's been super popular after TGT. I wanted to see kind of why. This is like my take on the new Maligos warlock. I might try some hand lock versions with molten giants as well. And gang back in it because of paladin. And double void walker because of paladin. Pretty much. You asked for it. Your soul shall be mine. Dreadsteed, I probably won't be playing because I don't think it's strong enough. From what I've seen other people, it hasn't been doing that good. I don't want to waste time playing it. Or at least I haven't seen a version that's, uh, say, good enough yet. I've seen a lot of people test a lot of different Dreadsteed decks, but... How many dragons I have in this deck? Four dragons on turn four, five, six with the Azure Drake, and seven with Maligos. Want to see like the consistency. Because I'm not using even Blackwing Technician anymore. It doesn't even matter as much. I guess I have Twilight Guardian and Corruptor takes dragons. So this will be a 4 7 if I play it. Be a 3 6 with Taunt. I'd probably rather give him a 3 6 with Taunt. If it is. Like, let's just say it's against Handlock. I mean, sorry, against Freeze Mage. It doesn't really matter, I feel. And this way I can set up for the Crusher on it. Probably have to give him one spell. Wants to use his hero power this turn. I don't think Handlock's too slow. Probably okay. I think it's pretty good. It's not a big fan of Chill Mall, but it's definitely usable. There was another move that I could have done. That's really weak against Flame Waker though. Implosion the 2-2 guy, and then Owl the Sky or something. This is first spell I've gotten, but this sets up really weak to Fireball the way I played. Since it's perfectly Fireball Hero Power and he gets to use his Hero Power for Inspire. There's no way he's killing it with that. I mean, not without trading. I can implosion and imp gang or this plus silence. In some ways, missing single target removal for the corruptor. Because he didn't have the removal last turn. From a Drake, like he doesn't have Fireball or something in <laughs> mind games. Wow, that could have been scary. Because against my deck, mind games in particular, got pretty lucky there. I want to do this attack. Using this to save my 5-2 from the creature combat. If I put the Drake first, I wouldn't have another dragon as well. So even though I missed my mana efficiency. Uh, I got three dollar nation from B Trauber. B T Rauber. Hey Strife Crow. I only have time to really learn one deck this month ranked. Any recommendations for one I can roll with all month? Uh Secret Paladin, I think. I would probably go for Secret Paladin. 
I could technically leave up his Ronin for a couple turns, but I don't think that's a great idea. Wait, wait, I should trade first. Yeah, I'm gonna try the 5-2 in regardless of if I overkill it, because I want the more health from the Twilight Guardian anyways. Because of all these arcane missiles coming up. Secret Paladin is the best deck or patron warrior. I, I feel like those are the best decks. I'm glad I killed Ronin, because if I just left that Ronin and I got flame striked, I'd been over. So his hand's not very good, it's just three missiles. Depending on whether he has the Antonidas or not. I really need like a spell with Maligos. Like a mortal coil, it's some way to deal with like maybe an Archmage or something. Someday I'll be just like you. Oh, he has three missiles here. I'm going for it now. go too badly for me. I assume that Drake is pretty much useless, so I'm gonna tap. Ooh. Hope it's mirror entity here. I still have two mortal coils in my deck. Kind of need to get them soon. Uh, Hellfire, probably not gonna work. It's too much damage for myself. I'd rather heal than Hellfire. Okay. I think I just stabilize this game at, at this point. Wait, 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 he's dead. Seven, this is 17, 2024. So yeah, we get to see all our tech choices for Paladin kick in. It's kind of weird, like I'm not able to load my own stream at all. Oh, I guess I don't really need to see. One so far, I guess for consistency, it's most, mostly a dead card until Malagos at the very end. And there's always a risk with two soul fires that you discard the other one. Okay, it's a mid-range Paladin. I feel like Warwalker is still good. This is a case where me running Woodwalker, me running Zombie Chow is a lot different, but I don't want to get the five points of healing to the opponent, and also the taunt, like the one three taunt is actually better often, just not against the Chow. Against mostly aggressive openings, it's good. So yeah, this is good because I get to hit off the Divine Shield still. Probably gonna coin out them gang boss here with the Mortal Cold backup, just so I can still use all my mana fine. I usually don't advise like coin out a 3 drop with this deck. There's a lot better 4 drops. Mostly saving your coin for like implosion or 
the drakes, dragons. But here I can tap and play Mortal Coil next turn. Reporting for duty. And then Gang was just super good against all the small guys that he had, the 2-2-2s. Two, two, so basically removed both 2-2s two, and generated 2-1-1s. One, I'm gonna just save my 1-1s one, here. If I can get something done with the Mortal Coil, I should. Not like it's all it's always a good card against Palin to save for later. Because they have so many 1-1s, one, but. It saves me a 1-1, one, one, so... kind of hope I get the Twilight Guardian here. I like removing this right now, because even if I roll a 1... Oh, that's scary. Um, I think I should attack it, right? That way if he casts a spell, at least... Like, first of all, even if he doesn't have a spell, I would just trade it. Like, it would be the trade I want anyways. And now if he casts a spell, he's going to lose Pyromancer. The reason why I didn't play the Drake here last turn was because if he plays a Belcher, my Drake doesn't actually lock down the... Like, it doesn't actually do anything. It basically gets taunted out by the Belcher. It's, like, if that wasn't really possible, I could think, like, Drake was mathematically better, kind of. Uh, yeah, just take out the, uh... Let's take out the Pyromancer here, actually. I could have taken out the Belcher, but then I'd leave a 3-1 against the Corruptor. Like, just... Let's say he doesn't want to cast any spells. It probably doesn't at this point, but it's just a 3-1 can still crush my guy. And next tournament is Darkon Team House 1. Follow the rule. Reporting for duty. <laughs> no, I think that it was, right? Like, Math Mappy better than Spy Drake. It does. As like a 4 8 or something, it would probably be stronger than, than Implosion. I can play Emperor here. I have enough uh, combo cards to play efficiently as well. So many things are good here, though. I kind of like this the best. Even if he has Dr. Boom this turn, he'd probably have to trade both for this Emperor before playing Boom. Sylvanas is the same, trades both. Maybe Suicide's a 1-1 first or something. Sometimes you would rather play Sylvanas here if like the it's super high tension where they play a bomb or something. But the thing is, Sylvanas has taunt anyways. I mean, Emperor has taunt anyways, so it's almost the same here and I get the discount. Mostly Sierra Dr. Boom, it's the worst, uh, strongest move you can do. Need that big game hunter still. I the Drake gets the cycle. No, no, I like this better. It's, this has to be better. I'm protecting my 4 7 from the 7 7 attack. I'm <clears throat> really weak to that attack. Even though it's not something I super mind because I can hellfire after, but then the one two clears the boom bots maybe. He has to have some control cards like Owl or something. It's like a mid range paladin. Reporting for duty. I can take the trade, it's pretty good right now. Let I me mean, think about tapping first or something. I kind of like the tap first. That's really risky. I have no time for games. He's running out of cards. Right now he has a divine shield guy, so there's no way for him to play around Sylvanas right now, like killing Sylvanas and not giving me anything. I could like try to steal something better. But, like, Swan Shadow Flame is a great way to deal with Tyrion. But I think it was really good here. Big game, a little bit too late. Probably not relevant anymore, since there's only a Dr. Boom, generally. So many possibilities. Let 
None survive. I don't want to use any burn here. Implosion, basically, because if I do implosion this, he has a super easy trade on Solanus, or he doesn't steal anything. So I actually have to leave up three, like, tech, yeah, so this is much better because I have Solanus still to just play another one of my minions, like Imp Gang, instead of burning my implosion here. Got a $3 donation from Tyro HS. Hey Strife, love your stream, keep up the good work. A little drawing for you. Strife to be, oh, <laughs> so cute. I don't like it. I don't like it in chat. Reporting for duty. He consecrated, right? Yeah. At least he had burn consecrate. Uh, I have 17 damage, 18 damage. It might be my time to push damage. I'm gonna use like a lot of inefficient things here. But I guess he doesn't really have much to burn out. I don't, have, or I don't really have any other way to develop my board. That was great. Unless I wanna just pop Maligos down, but it's pretty risky against equality. And I have 17 burn in my hand, so... I have... Uh, do I have lethal? 8? Yeah, I have lethal. If he doesn't do anything. Um, one off, I think. If I rolled a three on implosion, I would have got him. I'm just getting in this damage and, uh,. That is a pretty cool one. The chibi needs the Twitch icon. That's probably better than my blood mage. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if that would fit as a tiny Twitch icon though. Left myself open to swipe. Yep. Land hands. So, so I have uh, 20. Gotcha. 18. I'm off by one again. I won't be able to play both Dark Bombs in the same turn. This actually sets them at exactly 17, so I think it's worth it in case you say he clears my board with Equality Consecrate or Consecrate plus Knife Juggler Ping or something. A lot of likely board clears. Not that likely he has more healing because he's already played Land Hands. But even if he does, like you can't just heal here since I have 8 damage on board. Like say he just plays a heal bot, he probably he would still die. He has to heal and clear now That's in the same turn. Heal bot is like barely saving him here, especially if pings a 3-1, but I have a hellfire here and then I can set up for next turn still. Very similar to the old Mally, Mally Lock. The only card new is Twilight Guardian. I think it's too good to not put in. Especially with all the aggro and patron still. It's a perfect counter to patron kind of as a 3 6 with taunt. And also, it's much better than Twilight Drake against aggro. Like, especially aggro paladin. Because Twilight Drake pretty much needs an Argus for it to be good. Or else it just kind of sits there killing 1 1s. Not going to be relevant pretty much. Like Noble Sack, things like that. Avenge. It's very hard to rely on attacking Paladin minions for removal. 
you basically need to rely on taunt because uh, attacking Pella and minions for removal is generally a bad idea. Or having to attack them. Because there's so many small guys. And then there's like Noble Sack Avenge. Uh, got a 5 donation from Bossy Man. Hey Strife, always wondered why Blood Mage Thalnos is your profile picture anyways. P.S. Love the stream, keep up the good work. I think I put it there like a year and a half ago when I like just, just started streaming. It's just a very small thing, I needed something. Uh, it's my favorite card at the time. But I should probably change it now. This is getting really scary. Mm, there's no way I'm gonna kill this. Promise 5 is a huge breakpoint for Druid. Mm, my hand is good. That means I tap first. That's one of my best cards, unfortunately. That's why I even kept an opening hand against Druid. I hit a four, anyways. I must safeguard. Works out okay for me, kind of. I'm gonna need a tap here and play him king, even though I kind of want a dark bomb the three one. It's not super threatening on my guy, and I don't have another dragon right now. I see you. My shield for Argon. Should tap first. For some reason, I thought that. Forgot. This sets out a range of hero power and swipe, so it's still very good Argus. But I'm getting really far behind. The keeper, the, all the ramp. The fact that it's a little farther and messing my turn. I need to make a comeback soon. I have the Shadow Flame. Something I'm definitely aiming towards. Okay, I'm gonna do the board clear here. It's much better than this Shadow Flame move because I don't have to use my BJ Shadow Flame. Now that I picked up the Corruptor. That's why the card's so good against Druid. It's against like Druid minions, I think you would even keep or I did keep Corruptor in my opening hand. Where shall I start? Unfortunately I used my Defender of Argus here. It would have been perfect. He's going to turn nine with uh a lot of damage. The like easiest way for me to do this is Twilight Guardian and Implosion since it's eight mana. If I rolled like a four, I might think about not attacking something where he could like the guy trades. But if it feels a 4 4, there's no way since uh, Twilight Guardian doesn't kill it. I'd rather the Twilight Guardian trade into the, trade into the guy the, than my guy, than the big guy. Almost seems like he's a ramp druid, not combo. I'm not sure. I can owl dark bomb clear the whole board. I can also use implosion and save the owl. Problem is I died a combo the other way. It, depending on what comes out. So many out of time. I'm kinda hesitant about this move because the owl is very important right now, I think. But if I did the implosion to remove the Harrison, maybe try to imp after for a low and then just attack the Shredder. If I can't kill whatever comes out with the other two imps, I would die to combo. 
Either way, I'm gonna the same weakness against swipe, kind of, because having double implosions is pretty weak to swipe, but then playing the owl is kind of weak to swipe too, so. I think with implosion on my hand, I can just double heal bot here. Because whatever I draw and tap into, I'll probably be able to play It'll, something like a dragon, like a 4 to 6 drop. I have a lot of 4 to 6 drops coming up. And I'll be able to play it with implosion or tap and choose one. I kind of one reason why I was a little bit hesitant. I hope I get Mally Ghost or something. Two one drops. I guess I can't Valley Hellfire very high in this matchup. I'm just gonna use my stuff to get some damage on these guys. Just going for it. I mean, that's really bad for me, honestly, because I'm pretty low. Hmm. Maybe setting up for a swipe or something. I'm gonna have to draw here, even though one like Malagos plus Morkul is one of my win conditions against Druid. I actually don't have any more healing. I have to. Good thing I have a taunt though, but I died a swipe. Go play. Yeah, that's enough as well. 